Peter Racy, Anzac Day Precinct at Malcutha and the Brisbane History of World War II. And I've come along today to do a little bit of a report on the Milne Bay Memorial Library and Research Centre, which was formerly the Sandgate Drill Hall and was constructed and first used in 1916. So an incredibly historic building which has a really interesting story that I'll refer to briefly in this YouTube. And the main reason I've come along is to have a look at this Battle for Australia Memorial, which is now subject to a yearly event and a yearly commemoration uh, at this site. It was previously in George Street as part of Queen's place and was relocated here and like the statue of Queen Elizabeth II this memorial had to find a new home and it did and it's a really great home when you reflect upon the fact that there is this very special research library to the history of Milne Bay uh, and it's, you know, a delightful precinct. Uh, that building there was from the uh, local school. And, yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to going inside and having a look. So let's move on. So this morning I've been granted access to do a little bit of footage of the Milne Bay Research Library. Uh, that's at the Chermside Historical Precinct and I must say I am incredibly impressed by the obvious dedication that the memorial has been blessed with. It is really quite eye-opening. The research centre is primarily targeted at uh, library users who want to research the Battle of Milne Bay and the library itself I will go into in a second after you get a bit of an appreciation of the display in this very historic army drill hall that had been previously on federal government land but had been sold off. and the relocation and efforts to save the Drix is really a great example of cooperation between federal, state and local councils and governments and as well between the two main ruling parties in Australia the Liberal and Labor parties, which in Queensland is the Liberal National Party. And the result is quite incredible. And I think a fitting testament and legacy to Wayne Swan, who was the federal member uh, that covered this particular precinct. And as you can see, there is extensive photographic uh, records on display and the first bit of this YouTube did show uh, individual memorials and tributes to some of the key players in the Battle of Milne Bay. And we are now standing in the library and it does have a fairly extensive collection however in today's digital world it probably is a drop in the bucket in relation to the available information that is now easily accessible online and in digital format but in my mind there is something very special about sitting in a research library and getting the ambiance entrenched in one's psyche 
as you research a particular subject. And there is, without a share of a doubt, a requirement by me to come back and have a look at the maps that are held. There are some quite special Japanese maps from World War II that detail Australia. I need to come back and have a look and record for everyone the panels in more detail. This has been an introductory visit and I hope that you are as taken with what is on display here as what I have been. And I'm going to close by just giving you a little bit of a feel of the Battle for Australia Memorial Day held in the precincts. Thank you and good afternoon. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Brad Schillig and I have the honour to be the Master of Ceremonies for today's service. <laughs>